Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I want to share this with you. <clears throat> Go before you are ready. Go before you are ready. I was watching the news one morning and this gentleman came on to be interviewed. His name was Lieutenant Colonel Dan Rooney and he was wearing a t-shirt and the t-shirt said, Go before you're ready. And, and I looked at that t-shirt and I thought, wow, you know, that, that, that just struck me. And then I listened to what he said. Now, I, I found a YouTube video of Lieutenant Colonel Dan Rooney speaking. It's a very brief video. I'm going to put a link below. But this is what he said. I'm going to, I'm going to share with you the quote. Uh, and now, he said many other things, but... But, uh, and he, by the way, he was an Air Force pilot, I believe, now I might be mistaken about the branch of service, but he was a pilot. Uh, he was a pilot. And he shared about, about uh, the requirements of the, the school he was going through. I, I don't remember the number of times that he went up with an instructor. It was very, maybe it was three or four times. And then he had to take the jet up by himself and... and he, he didn't feel ready. See? Now, I hope you're, you're seeing the parallel here. Because you can rehearse. You can have your show. And you should. I mean, I'm not, I'm not advocating that you go out and try to perform without rehearsing. Uh, but, but you're never going to feel ready for that new environment. For that new opportunity. Uh, you're never going to feel ready for fool us, right? Or for your national television spot or for your local television spot. You're never going to feel ready for the first time you do a corporate gig. You're never going to feel ready for the first time you do a trade show. You're never going to feel ready for the first time you do a kid's party. You're just never going to feel ready enough. And if you let that stop you, you don't do anything. So go before you are ready. Lieutenant Dan Rooney said, How often in life we put so many limitations on ourselves. What could happen? What might happen? That's what we're thinking. I went before I was ready and I took that fighter jet up and thank God I brought it back and I landed it and I've never stopped going before I'm ready. The reckless faith that when you step forward, the universe conspires for you. Bold, reckless faith. Go do it. Go do it now. That's what this means. Go before you are ready. You are never going to feel ready. Just do it. Now, I want to share something else with you. This, this by the way, this plaque was made for me by an Etsy artist. Uh, the company is Dream Big Printables. I'm going to put a link down below. Uh, they're not expensive. They come in a variety of finishes, a variety of fonts. I chose this. I like the rustic look of it. But you know what? This, this now sits in my office. And as I prospect and as I reach out to new, new customers and new clients and, and try to get into new areas of doing business and doing magic, I look at this every single day. And I remember, I am ready. I am ready now. Now, I want to share something else with you. This is an article by Heather Mulder. Molder, I believe it is. Uh, I'm going to put the link down below to the article because I'm not going to share the whole article with you. Just a little bit to give you a taste. The title of the article is Five Reasons to Start Before You Are Ready. Five Reasons to Start Before You Are Ready. Reason number one, doing is the best teacher. You can study all you want. You can practice all you want. But until you go out and do it, you don't know. You don't know. So go do it. Reason number two, mistakes are magic. Those are her words, not mine. Mistakes are magic. You know what? Mistakes can be painful. But boy, when you make a mistake, 
you learn, you grow, you develop. Mistakes are good. They're stepping stones to success. Reason number three, acting creates momentum. Acting creates momentum. The more you do, the more you get to do. Reason number four, it can be riskier to do nothing. If, listen, I'm, I'm making my living doing this now. If I sit home and do nothing, I starve, right? It can be riskier to not take action. Be a yes person. When an opportunity comes your way, yes. Yes. Reason number five, purpose is revealed primarily through action. See, I'm one of those people that believes that every one of us has a calling on our lives. We have a purpose. We have a mission. And the more we do, the more active we are, the more clarity we get on that mission and the more fulfilling our life becomes. Folks, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope I've inspired you to go before you are ready. Thank you so much. Please comment down below. I love your comments. Please subscribe if you've not done so already. Have a great day.